What's going on, you guys? It's your boy Sith Lord Zeke, man. We're back with another video, man. The Gaia of Genesis of Gaia, I believe it is, has just released uh, the EX Structure deck. And uh, we have a deck list here from a good friend of mine. His name is Kel. Uh, he sent me this deck list last night, I believe it was. And uh, basically, the deck um, is, is pretty cool. He said it is a good rogue strategy. Um, I haven't really had the chance to really just test the deck myself. Uh, I probably played like one or two games with it last night, but, um, yeah. So let's get into the deck list, man, and see what these cards do. Uh, so basically this is a uh, soldier guy, the fierce knight. And, uh, he's, uh, he's basically a quick effect, uh, during the battle phase, main phase or, or whenever, um, you could tribute a fusion monster to special summon him to the field so this this card here single-handedly allows you to dodge your opponent's um, um, uh, harpy slash um, you can dodge like a myriad of things with this card right here as long as you have one of these dragon fusions on the field so um, yeah I believe you could even tribute Trishula uh, but yeah so that's basically what he does and also when he's summoned to the field you can switch the uh battle position of the monster um uh, to from attack to defense position so you can just uh basically stop your opponent from uh attacking into you um when when this card is summoned to the field okay and then we have here we have guy the fifth knight origin um yeah so he's um he's basically your uh, normal summon to the field as long as you uh, don't control any monsters. I believe this card can be treated as two tributes. He's, all, he's also you can also use him as a, a, a tribute for to, uh, for two monsters, uh, two monster count. Um, you can only use the effect of the, uh, the use each of the following effects of Gaia the Fierce Knight once per turn. Uh, so basically what he does is you could actually banish him from the graveyard if a monster's uh, uh, attack points are uh, different from its original attack points it, uh, it it puts the monster's original attack points back to normal um, from where it actually is so if you attack into like uh, I believe uh, what is the your Yosinju card the um, I forgot the one where it it, uh, it basically becomes the attack you could probably what i believe is you can switch it back to um you can switch it back to zero and then you know attack over it um so yeah uh and then we have um gaia the magical knight so what gaia the magical knight does he's basically a starter uh when he when he summoned to the field he actually summons uh curse of dragon to the field uh he basically gets your play going so this is why you run three of him and um, see, it says if you control no monsters or your opponent controls a monster with 2300 or more attack, you can normal summon this card without tributing, um, which they all really have this effect, I believe. If this card is normal or special summon, you can special summon one level five dragon type monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position. You can only use the effect of guide the magical knight once per turn okay so basically he, he extends from your hand and he summons from the graveyard uh like i say he's your starter uh and then we have curse of dragon fire this card uh, it basically is your fusion spell on the field uh and it reads if this card is normal or special summon you can target one field spell on the, one field spell card on the field destroy it once per turn you can fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using uh, monsters you control as fusion material, including this card. So basically, he's your polymerization. Um, so you run three of him as well. So this deck is pretty consistent from what I played last night, the few games that I did play last night. Uh, and then we have uh, two Mystical Space Typhoon. And then we have the two Book of Moon. Uh, and then this, this card, I believe, kind of helps bring it all together. The galloping Gaia, and what it does is you can once per turn reveal one Gaia monster, and then uh, you add the dragon to your hand, or you can, if you have the missing piece, you can, if you have the dragon, you can activate the card to add the uh, Gaia, any any Gaia. So uh, this card is basically it just helps you get going 
like I said, this helps the consistency of the deck. And then we have Forbidden Chalice. You guys know what that does. Uh, and then we have Gateway to Chaos. Uh, and this card basically adds any, uh, let me see, it adds a Black Luster Soldier Ritual Monster or one Gaia, the Fierce Knight uh, Monster from your deck. So any Gaia, it adds to the deck. And then we have the World Legacy Clash because um, because of the guy, the Magical Knight. Um, I'm sorry. We have the World Legacy Clash because uh, Gaia, the, the uh, Dragon Champion. And then we have, of course, Spiral Spirit Strike. And what this card does is it uh, kind of like heightens the ceiling of the deck a little bit and allows you to draw two cards once you once you destroy a monster uh that's in de in defense position but you have to destroy a monster with a uh gaia the dragon knight uh monster so this card counts as uh, uh because it becomes gaia the dragon champion i'm sorry it has to be a Dr gaia the dragon champion card so i believe both of these cards are basically gaia the uh, dragon champion um this one becomes it and then this one is gaia the dragon champion okay so yeah so once you switch the uh your opponent into de defense um uh, and you pierce them or if your opponent is in defense and you pierce them with this card on the field you draw a card and then you discard a card so yeah it, it, it kind of it, it you know it helps the deck uh it helps you deal more damage to your opponent um but uh and we have the last card uh, which is treacherous trap hole um to you know help with interruptions for the deck because i'm not really sure how good it is against um competitive uh decks right now um not sure if we you have to add more cards for the interruptions but it seems like this right here and this right here and uh world legacy clash are pretty good interruptions you know uh, it's all you have, it's always a, a good a good time when you have a treacherous trap hole in the deck if it doesn't get cosmic or mst or whatever like that so uh and then we have um uh, we have trishula man uh you want to play trishula because your opponent could flip your monsters face down and then uh trishula kind of helps you unclog the field so um and then it's also a dragon fusion so i believe it works with uh gaia uh soldier gaia the fierce knight as well so uh yeah uh and then we have the gaia the magical knight of dragons um and this guy basically becomes gaia the dragon champion while on the field you can only use the following effects of gaia the magical knight of dragons once per turn during the main phase quick effect you can target one other card on the field this card loses exactly 2600 attack and if it does destroy the destroy that card okay so you, you have a, a way to destroy cards on the field. Uh, when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can make, let's see. Uh, let's see. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can make this card gain 2,600 attack. So uh, you want to try to get the attack boost before you destroy a card, which is kind of slow to me. Um, yeah, that's that's to me, that's, I don't know, man. It's, it's really slow, so you would have to go second and then attack your opponent because i don't i don't know man that 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 that, that effect seems kind of slow i mean mm, i don't know man because a lot of times like as soon as you put a monster on the field your opponent is ready to deal with the monster and so you know you might have to just they might try to book a moon you or something like that as soon as you hit the field and you might have to just hurry up and activate its effect and uh which is actually not not bad but with you know if they book a moon it because then you get to pop a card and then if they somehow don't uh pay attention to the defense and then attack over try to attack over it and flip it back up you get to use the effect again so hey that's not bad against uh book a moon actually um but it is bad once you use the effect and its attack goes to zero uh most likely you what you'll do is probably if you have a guy of the fierce knight in your hand You'll probably um you'll probably tribute it off for uh, this guy right here so yeah uh be careful with this card man um because if you don't use it properly 
uh, it'll just, you'll, you'll destroy a card on the field, but then it'll just get destroyed. And then you want to make sure uh, that you have a defensive play like Soldier Gaia in the hand uh, to make your opponent think that, you, uh, that you've given up 2,600 attack. And then, boom, you can put another 2,600 in his face. Um, so usually what I like to do or what I did last night was I would just wait until he, you know, my opponent got ready to attack. And then, um, then I activate this card. And then, um, once he hit the field, he switches the monster to defense. And then your opponent just ends the battle phase because 2,600 is, is, is kind of hard to get over. Um, this deck is kind of, with the boss monsters, it's kind of, um, boosting the ceiling of uh, your opponent having to have a boss monster that has more than 2600 attack or they will crash into this card so uh yeah and then we have um i'm sorry we have um sky galloping gaia the dragon champion the actual gaia the dragon champion card this card name becomes gaia the dragon champion uh while it is on the field if this card is special summon, you can add one Spiral Spear Strike from your deck or graveyard to your hand. When this card declares an attack on an opponent's monster, you can change the battle position of that opponent's monster. Okay, so he also has the ability to switch your uh, opponent's uh, monster to defense uh, if they try to uh, attack. And then he adds this card right here, Spiral Spear Strike. Um, which is, okay, so this is how you get your opponent in defense, and then you smack them, you know, and then draw the two cards uh, on top of uh, dealing piercing damage. So, uh, yeah, so we got the uh, uh, guy, the dragon champion. And then we have uh, Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack. Uh, you know what this card does. You can exceed with two level sevens, or that's a level eight. Uh, you can use these uh, guy, the magical knights, and make him. And then you get two tokens, and uh, I believe it can be destroyed by, let me see, while this card, uh, you, it, while you control a token, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effect. Okay, so yeah, this is this card will be your way uh, to make sure that uh, Livianir doesn't clear your field. Uh, once per turn, you can tribute one Mecha Phantom Beast um, monster, and then target one card on the field, destroy that target. Uh, this card cannot attack during the turn you activate this effect. Okay, so yeah, um, so everything looked like it's at 2600, and then we have uh, Adria's Keeper of Armageddon. I'm thinking about changing this card out. I want to do Gaia. The, the yeah. let me see. I want to do Gaia the uh, Thunder Charger. Gaia Dragon the Thunder Charger. Um, you can also exceed this card uh, by using a rank 5 or 6 exceeds monster you control as the exceeds material. Exceeds material attached to this monster also becomes exceeds material on this card. Um, if this card attacks a defense position monster, uh, flick piercing uh, battle damage to your opponent. Okay, so uh, you don't. I think you don't. You won't be able to uh, draw two cards with a uh, spiral spear because I don't think this counts as a dragon. Cha this doesn't count as a, a dragon champion. So, um, but it does have piercing ability, and if you want, you could probably take out one of these guys and add like a, a rank five exceed or something like that. Um, so this. Go rank five. All right, so these are all the rank fives. Oh, I kind of like Vokasaurus, man. But you, I, I get. I would say that you would have to play some kind of defense. Um, kind of like Vokasaurus, man. Let's try Vokasaurus. Uh, once per turn, you get attached on material from this card. Turn on face up. Call your opponent control. Destroy it. Okay, so keeper just kind of like helps you get past that that um 
Necro Valley, if you will. Um, so yeah, let's go. Let's go with, with Keeper, man, because yeah, then we could just exceed over him. Yeah. So yeah, you guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the deck list. Uh, shout out to my guy Kel for this. Uh, thank you, Kel, uh, for the deck list, man. Uh, yeah, you guys. Um, if you purchase this, this uh, EX structure deck. Uh, I'm not really sure that this is how it will be played, but this is a uh, uh, kind of sort of a blueprint you can start with. Um, but yeah, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy enjoy the duels, man. Um, yeah, until next time, peace. I'll see you guys, man. Witness the bond with my cards. This is my fight, Yugi. Duel. It's go. I'll set a card. I end my turn. All right, let's do this. I draw. 